here the Nitacore IntelliCharge i2 against the Trustfire Multifunctional Charger 101. Okay. You can see the different kind of packages. Um, this one does come in a Ziploc bag kind of type. And this one does come in its box. It does come with instructions. You could notice it is a better build quality, the packaging. Higher. Okay, as you notice, it comes with the cable. Um, it looks just like the one on the Nitacore. Okay, as you notice, it does look a simple design. It does have the connection there. Okay, as you notice, it does have the car adapter connection, which also the Nitacore has as well. Okay, we can compare these side by side. Okay, this is the Nitacore. Okay, as you notice, one of the differences on the lighting system, here has the light here. Once it's fully charged, it would go from orange to green. In the case of this one, which I really do prefer, as you see, you see three bars. When it's low, it's on, on the bottom, medium, and high. And when it's fully charged, what it does is it blinks. It blinks low as it's charging, blinks medium, and then it, then it blinks on high also. But when it's fully charged, it's just a stable bar, no blinking. Okay, so that is a plus there. As you notice, this one just has one light. So you really don't know where the battery's at in the progress. But this one, you could tell how it is, how low it is, how high it is. If you have one battery laying around and you don't know how much charge it has and you want to test it out before you put it to charge for no reason, this could go ahead and tell you that. Another positive on the IntelliCharge is when you put the batteries backwards, it does start blinking, letting you know that the battery is backwards and you should take it out as soon as possible. But before that, it does have both connections, the regular connection and the car adapter connection also. So they both do have that. Both work the same way. As you notice, the clip enlarges for the battery size the same way on this one also. The Trust Fire does range from seven to $15. The IntelliCharge goes from 15 to $30. Um, it does have like a processor inside, I guess. It does recognize each battery type that you put in it. So it's an IntelliCharge. So you could have two different types of batteries at the same time, and it would automatically recognize which is which. In this version, you have no way of knowing that. You could only put the batteries that are suggested on the manual that could be charged. They both do stop charging when it's fully charged. As you know, it's best not to keep batteries charging after they're already fully charged. This does hold a wider range of different kind of batteries, and this one does hold less. Okay, so in this case, I would prefer the IntelliCharge just because the reasons I describe you. Um, you can put different batteries. It lets you know when the battery is charging. It does look like a better um, built than this one. But for budget, you know, this is a good way to go too. This is the second best reviewed um, charger that I see after this one, but this is top number one. Let's go ahead and see the different battery sizes. Um, 18650, 18500, 17670, um, 16340, 14500, 10440, 16430. Okay, and here, let's, let's check this out. Okay, so here you see here, um, 26650, 18650, 
18449 I mean 18490 173 35 16340 22650 17670 17500 14500 it takes NIM kind of batteries NICD AA AAA and C batteries also. So this does offer you more batteries to be able to charge. And the good thing, because it's intelligent, you don't have to charge them once at a time. So if you have the money, this would be the way to go. But if you're in a tight budget, then this is the one that you wanna have.